Mel, everybody, I'm Cantonese Cat. Hey, everybody, Cantonese Cat here. Before I talk about the two stocks, I'm going to talk about Coinbase and MicroStrategy here in this video. I'm trying to get a little bit more detail, but yet I'm trying to keep it brief at the same time. Very difficult to do. I just want to thank you all members for joining my channel, especially um, you know those that are willing to engage, and I'm happy to try requests or fulfill um, chart requests as much as possible. I can certainly make a video about Coinbase. Coin, uh, we'll, we'll see, it's a little bit more difficult to chart. But I just wanna give a shout out to all the members that have joined my channel. Thank you so much for joining. Before I talk about Coinbase, let's talk about the underlying issue here, which is altcoins, right? Basically, you cannot really have a good Coinbase price action unless if altcoins become heated and unless if things really want to get traded here real real hot right like you you really want volume to come in when it comes to that the one big thing you really look at the altcoins look at the others chart which is the cryptocurrency market cap total market cap excluding top 10 coins so no bitcoin no ethereum no stable coins or anything like that you are talking about the real altcoin so this is a very very good altcoin index just looking at the weekly here, I mean, look at the well, um, the back at L3, you know, well oscillator. It looks like it's really trying to turn positive here. The wave um, trend oscillator is also turned positive. So there's a lot of things that are telling me that, hey, it looks like we're really you know, bottoming here. Even just looking at this, it looks like there's a, I already drew this, it looks like there's a trend line that's already been broken and we just kind of doing a back test on that area. And so far, it looks like it's holding, right? Even looking at the Ichimoku, even though currently price is underneath the Ichimoku, it has begun to flip the blue line here, the Tenkan line from resistance, 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 and then you're flipping it to support and simply just kind of, kind of get kind of close to it and doing very nice back tests. So that's generally what you would expect um, when things are flipping bullish. Now, if you're looking at a little bit of a different time frame, so let me turn off the uh, Ichimoku. You're looking at the the two week time frame. Also looks like your well trend oscillator is also starting to turn positive here. And if you also go to the monthly chart here for the altcoins, it just looks like a big giant cup and a handle over here, right? Like there's nothing really too entirely bearish about it. So I I actually do like this whole. Um, look overall and there's really I can't really be bearish on altcoins like it's riding the 20 month moving average that's going up so with that said with this as the context here let's look and see what coinbase is doing now just right off the bat looking at coinbase I'm even going to turn on the Ichimoku cloud here which you have a little bit of a premature cloud here this is the leading span a you know if you want to find out more about what all these Ichimoku Cloud means I do have a member's lesson, uh, I think uh, many, many weeks ago. Feel free to watch that to try to learn what I mean when I talk about all these terms. But the key thing is just look at where currently Coinbase is finding support at. It's finding support at the kitchen on the monthly, which is higher time frame, which is pretty powerful. It's finding support here at the GAN horizontal line, which is confluence there. It actually, last month, actually even back test the, um, the GAN um, arc over here and it bounced, right? And then on top of that, currently this line also sits at around 0 0.618, which is the golden ratio of Fibonacci retracement. This is a log scale of the Fibonacci sequence based on the all-time high here and the all-time low here. So this is basically where you're at right now. It's finding support exactly where you want to find support at. And it looks like we're at an area that would potentially be bouncing up pretty soon. Same thing, just like the altcoins, looks like a big giant cup and a little bit of a handle over here. So far, there's really nothing too entirely bearish about this chart. And also, just looking at volume too, you know, on the way up, yeah, you do have a little bit of declining volume here, but this downtrend over here, especially the last four or five months or so, there's really been like not much volume here at all. And because of that, I do think that we're whenever you're pushing through all these levels. But so look, take a look at the levels here. You're basically talking about Coinbase pushing through arc number one, two, and three. And it's just doing a little bit of a back test here. It's looking like it's finding some pretty decent support. So I think it's probably gonna go up a lot higher. We're gonna talk a little, a little bit about the targets after that. But I'm gonna switch over to the um, weekly chart over here now the weekly is going to give you a little bit of a different 
picture here in terms of that. I think it's very important to take into context of what price action has been doing and then also compare that to the volume. One very important thing is if you look at the September, early September candle over here where you have big giant red candle, it was really happening on not much volume here at all, right? So that does raise the possibility, is there some kind of dark pool that's behind the scene that's basically causing things to plummet on low volume and then they end up potentially end up buying behind the scene, right? If you're interested in those kinds of things, there's actually an account on X that is incredibly helpful to follow. Um, Seven Par, I really highly recommend following this guy. He's got some really nice volume analysis and dark pool analysis. He was basically just calling ever since the August 5th um, downtrend based on, you know, all these like bad volume on, you know, sorry, bad candles on low volume. He's basically saying that there's a lot of dark pool. They're buying behind the scenes and they're not buying it with the market itself. But a lot of these things are kind of, you know, on the on the backside, maybe a little bit more like over the counter. They don't necessarily get reflected in terms of volume and they can cause some really strange moves in terms of volume imbalance. And he has some more recent updated, like just like I was showing you like that week where um, you have a big giant down candle. He was also basically calling out, hey, um, looks like there is um, some dark pool here as well. Looks like wells are accumulating, right? So let me see whether or not I can find some evidence that wells potentially be accumulating here at this level here. Now, one thing I like to do when I look at um, the um, volume imbalance is to pull up something called on balance volume. And the on balance volume works like this. Um, generally, if price goes up, you know, the uh, and the volume is up, right? You would have on balance volume just keep going up. Now, whenever I, I do see some imbalance here, the reason why I say that is because you have price basically just been plummeted all the way from like the 260s, 280s all the way down to where we're at right now, around 163, right? Price has basically been cut close to about half. You would imagine that the selling volume would also be reflected and on the on balance volume would go down, right? Because that's kind of how it would be if there is balance volume. But instead, what you're seeing here is that the on balance volume has usually been flat. So the whole time when price is going down, it looks like there is actually some um, divergence over here, right? It does look like there is um, some secret buying pressures here that are not being accounted for. So there, there are a lot of these kind of things that are telling me that I think wells have been accumulating. And I think that um, there's something fishy going on here that they are accumulating at your expense. They're trying to get shares out of your hands, right? Now, if I also take this away, I just look at Ichimoku Cloud. What am I going to see here? I see that you know initially you did have that um, imbalance candle here from September break through underneath the cloud, and we're trying to reclaim back the cloud here. And so far, the week is trying to get back to the bottom of the cloud. I have reasons to believe that we'll probably end up closing a week inside the cloud here, and then we we'll probably end up slowly going up here from here on out. That's what I'm thinking. Now, technically speaking, you can see why it got rejected from. A negative sloping tank in here and why you're gonna have a hard time breaking about because the tank is so negatively sloping you're gonna probably not gonna just push through immediately right you're gonna need to have some more sideways action to kind of turn the tank in a little bit more flat before you're able to reclaim it and go up so i do see technically as to why that is but just looking at the dark pool looking at the volume like it doesn't make sense there's a lot of accumulation that's probably happening behind the scene and also, if you just look at the trend alone, you have now actually have a little bit of a bullish trend here building up, right? Like there, there's, I'm not making this up. Like there's the, the um, tra weight trend also is a little bit, it's a lot faster than the MACD. I generally prefer to use this. So you're starting to see a bullish cross over here, right? Whenever you have these bullish crosses, generally good things happen, right? Whenever we have these bullish crosses, over, good things happen, right? And right now you're pretty oversold and you have a bullish cross and it looks like we might be at some pretty critical support here, both in terms of Ichimoku 
in terms of the Fibonacci level as well as in terms of the GAN. There is a lot of confluence here. So I think that this is the bottom. Now, if you ask me how high I think price is going to go, I'm just going to zoom out here a little bit further here. I'm going to go to the monthly chart and turn on volume here to kind of look a little bit better at the market structure here using Fibonacci and using GAN. I do think that the arc over here, the green arc over here is going to get hit this cycle. I think it's going to minimally it's going to go to around three, four hundred, probably going to, you know, break its all time high here is what I'm thinking because of this powerful cup and handle. Like, honestly, the, the target of a cup and handle would be probably this arc up here. <laughs> it's, it's just like it's just that insane. Like, I think you'll probably be potentially like hitting this arc up here, which is kind of crazy to think about. It, it's more around, um, let me see, I, it might be a little bit more ambitious, but minimally, I think it's going to get back to the previous all time high. I do think that this cycle is probably going to end up hitting this arc in this horizontal zone up here, which means that if it ends up making another big move like this, and depending on how altcoin goes, if altcoin does really well, I can totally see it hitting around 800. That's going to be probably the end, the cycle top here for me. I don't think it's going to hit four digits. I think that's a little bit too dreamy for me, a little bit too moony for me. Probably here around the 800s is kind of what I'm thinking. Now, if I do not the fit level and lock scale, but if I do it in a linear scale, you can see 1.618, which is potentially going to get hit here as well, is around 675. So those are kind of my targets here for Coinbase, but I'm like, there's nothing for me to really get bearish about Coinbase here. I'm very bullish. Michael's strategy is a little bit simpler. I'm just going to go with this, um, looking at what Michael's strategy is doing. It's pretty simple, really, because what Michael's strategy is really doing is that it pushed through the previous all-time high wick over here like butter after it breaks through this zone over here that's been going sideways for about like nine months. You, it, The zone here was resistance here for a couple months, but it, as soon as this area over here got broken, it just slides right through and naturally end up hitting the arc up here as resistance. And what are you doing here? Well, you basically got about six inside candles to this big candle over here. So you're basically consulting sideways after inside candles, if you're going to break out, it's probably going to follow the primary trend, which currently is up, right? The other thing too, is all this really doing over here is just basically gone way too far, way too fast, got rejected here at the arc. Where's it going to find support at, at, at this um, cycle high over here at this wick over here? which is exactly what's been happening over the last couple of months, right? Now, we are going up and we are hitting some resistance here at the arc. I do think that the arc is going to break. I do think that it's going to hit the uh, 220 zone. And I do think that if the 220 zone gets broken, it's going to hit the arc up here, which is going to be around 400-ish. I do think that the, the cycle is probably going to end up hitting like 500, 600. And depending on how Bitcoin goes, it could even hit like potentially hit... Um, you know, four digits, right? These are all possibilities depending on how Bitcoin goes. I do think Bitcoin is going to go higher. And I do think that the chart for running strategy is actually very, very strong. Just look at the wave trend oscillator. Like it looks like it wants to curl positive here. On the lower time frame on the two week chart, it's already, it's already turned positive. On the weekly chart, it's already been turned turn positive here for a very long time, right? And um, just looking at the um, RSI here too, like you can see that a lot of these RSI trend line, even though price has kind of gone sideways here, RSI has cooled down during this process. And a lot of these like RSI trend line on different time frames, they've kind of been broken. And uh, I, I mean, I think that price is probably gonna end up going up higher from here. And um, again, as far as how far, how high it goes, I do not know. Now, another thing that gives me confidence that I think Bitcoin and MicroStrategy are gonna go up higher is to look at the chart, the ratio chart of MicroStrategy over Bitcoin. Now, during the last cycle, whenever you start to have the top over here, around February 2021, that was the top, right? And then Bitcoin went ahead and make a higher high in November 2021, but MicroStrategy never did. So you see that it really has kind of peaked over here. Now, the, the interesting thing is looking at this over here, it does look like a big giant cup and we could potentially be breaking through that, right? It looks like Michael's strategy wants to continue to outperform Bitcoin because this is a leverage play for Bitcoin. It already has outperformed Bitcoin. 
um, since um, really since the uh, May of uh, 2022, and it's this is no longer an inside candle. You already had a breakout of this um, you know candle over here. Not like MicroStrategy itself, right? So MicroStrategy is outperforming Bitcoin, um, and this is not the behavior of when Bitcoin tops. This is the behavior when Bitcoin tops, right? Because when you're talking about Bitcoin tops, whales are already aware that, hey, you know, it might make a little bit of a higher high here, but maybe we should exit a leverage play like MicroStrategy. Here, the whales are not saying that. Well, here, whales are saying, oh man, give me more MicroStrategy. I want to I want to have more MicroStrategy because it's going to go up higher. Bitcoin's going to go up higher. That's kind of what I'm seeing here. And also, you are breaking above the Ichimoku cloud here on the monthly chart. MicroStrategy is outperforming Bitcoin by a mile, and it might continue to keep keep going here based on the fact that it just broke out. The ratio of MicroStrategy over Bitcoin has just broken out of the cloud, right? So this is something to to really kind of pay attention to, something to kind of think about. I'm not going to go into too much. I think it's already 15 minutes, 16 minutes. Could end the video right here. I hope you enjoy these videos. Have a good one. Bye.